All right, today we're going to be looking at tethering a camera. Okay, we tether a camera for the simple fact that we want to be able to see uh, the pictures as soon as they get processed through the camera. What I like to do is I have it hooked up inside the photo studio where um, on the screen here I have a projector. Okay. And then I have my studio over here. And what happens is the client, as soon as they get the picture taken, can see exactly what the picture looks like. It's a real nice transaction. Nikon D5000, what you're looking for is uh, the USB cable that attaches to it. Now this USB cable is just a little bit smaller than the average USB cable. It's even smaller than the USB Mini 2. So hunt around. There's usually one attached to the tripod at all times. And then of course that gets uh, transitioned right into the uh, computer. Now in most cases sometimes this will pop up where as soon as you plug in the camera aperture is going to take control. Alright, to start a new session with aperture you just have to go in here and make a new project. You do that by going new project. I've done this already. I've called one video, so I'm going to use that one. With the project highlighted, you can go file, tether, start session, and then you can start session. You should see the readout of the camera and the destination. If I hit capture, it should now capture a spot. Okay, so where did it go? Well, quite easy. You go over here to import and exit that out, and now you can see live. So let's line up our composition real quick back here on camera side. So I'm going to switch back over to uh, on location where I can see everything. All right, we'll line our composition up via here. And just know one thing bad about tethering a camera in the fact that, you know, students love to use live view. But here, you can see that the only readout you're going to get is your settings. I can't hit live view when I'm tethered. Hopefully one day that'll change. I'm going to adjust my... Um, aperture and adjust my exposure ratio to balance that out. And I'm going to turn on autofocus. Good, it's on. All right. Autofocus is located at the bottom side of that. So now I can lightly click and it should autofocus. Good. I would suggest that you use autofocus with this setup. It's just one of those things. Now, if you go back to Aperture, I should now be able to hit Capture. And it appears live. Alright, so that is how you hook up Aperture to have a live preview inside the software right away. And, you know, when you get done, you can just right-click, Export Master, and export it anywhere you want. And then you can what I usually do is I capture everything live via Aperture, but then I use kind of Lightroom to edit all my stuff. All right. If you ever need to name something, what I use is metadata. It's black. Now, notice that it's labeled here. So when you export, master, right here it says version name. My name format is going to be version name. That way when it exports out, it will name the file um, period nef, black period nef for this one. 
All right, and that's my use of aperture. Enjoy. On to the next video.